With rapid economic development, the cities in China are changing with each passing day. I am in Yongxin, a city located in the Jiangxi province, China, which covers an area of 2195 square kilometers. The subtropical monsoon climate brings abundant rainfall to Yongxin. The vivid seasonal changes remind people of the passage of time. Different from the other fast-growing Chinese cities, the time here seems to be flowing slowly. The history of Yongxin can be traced back thousands of years ago. Historical curvings can be seen everywhere. Today, it still has a large number of well-preserved ancient buildings. Here we are. The first thing we will talk about is the South Tower. It is the earliest existing Song Pagoda in Jiangxi, and it maintains the style of Song Dynasty relatively completely. In ancient times, the Hexui River often flooded, and the existence of the South Tower is a symbol of peace. In the future planning, the primary school may be relocated, and the square will be built around the South Tower. All right, let's go. Our next station is here, the Haiqin Chun Tea House, which is the former residence of Chairman Mao's wife, He Zhen. It is located a thousand meters away from the South Tower, playing an important role in the revolutionary history and culture of Jiangxi. Today, the local folk songs still tell the stories that happened here. Now, we are walking along the Shengjiaping Road. As you can see, it is under construction now. The Yongxin Chamber of Commerce is on our left side. It is only a few steps away from the Hunan Jiangxi Wolf. In the past, the Yongxin Chamber of Commerce of, was used as a place to meet foreign businessmen. Its architectural style is very representative. Let's follow this lady to take a look. Oh, this is the old side of the wolf. What remains today is these steps. Looking to the right side, and then we came to the north bank. The site selection of the bridge complex should rely on the Hunan Jiangxi Wolf across the Hexui River. The bridge should be about 150 meters long, only for pedestrians and cyclists. The north side of Hexui River is occupied by local residents now as farmland. But there was a Wenxing floating bridge which also connected to the north and the south. Now the bridge has been removed. The specific location of the bridge and the Lingjiang buildings are to you. Additionally, it should be considered that at the north bank, except for the Lingjiang building, there will be a transportation terminal and a car-free pedestrian space in the future. It is also noteworthy that Yongxin Second Middle School is located on the south bank. The needs of students to commute safely should be taken into consideration. 
The computation requires everyone to design a bridge that not only connects the physical space with a single function, but also focus on connecting the culture of the ancient city with people's life, and linking the old and new urban areas. In the future, the bridge complex will become a new landmark in the city with tourism, recreation, and emerging businesses serving Yongxin residents at all times. Design for Yongxin City and Design for Yongxin People. We are looking for you. If you are interested, please sign up here.